Today is all about the waterfall. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel about kick cars and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. So I'm sitting here with my Factory 533 Hot Rod version 2. Uh, in the last video, I got the whole body bolted on so I could get the actual proper dimensions to drill these holes. And I started and got the holes drilled, but they're not lining up with, with, with the roll bar receptors, if you will. So we're gonna work on that today, see if we could resolve that problem and uh, get this thing dialed in. Alright, so what we got is the waterfall tightly against the back. However, as you bring it tightly against the back, it kind of jumps out a little bit. It doesn't really follow the angle that it did before. And if I try to force it back, uh, it will hit the, the frame back here. And so you're kind of torquing it. So I think I'm going to go path of least resistance. And uh, instead of forcing it in, I'm going to trim some of the stuff. And you could also see like, you know, this is maybe three quarters of an inch. And this is a full inch. So I think that's definitely where it wants to reside. So I'm just going to trim all that stuff. However, what was interesting is I made these initial holes and I was definitely expecting to take another quarter inch or whatever off off the uh, back end because I didn't think didn't think this pipe would actually fit and so I was kind of one-handed you know popping this pipe in last night and it went through the hole and I didn't expect it to so I was kind of shocked about that but you could see that it's popping right in there if it's easy to see that or not but it's definitely popping in there and it's definitely popping in that one so now I just have to create a nice you know gap around there um, but that was the whole purpose of doing this is making sure that this was against the wall so these holes are perfect so now that this pipes in here I could just use a sharpie and just trace around it and should be good to go um, so it's raining outside. It's kind of cats and dogs right now. So this kind of heavy trimming, I don't really like doing it in my garage. I like doing it outside. Uh, so it's not staying with me. And uh, so I'll probably mark all this stuff up and get it ready to go and then, you know, figure out what to do with it later. Um, but, you know, there's plenty of stuff like trimming the panels here and then start mocking up these side panels and the hood. So. We'll see if we can get to some of that stuff, but uh, let's give it a shot.
All right, so you saw I was having an issue trying to get that roll bar in now that everything's tacked in. And um, so one of the things earlier I was talking about how this is a little thicker here and this is a little smaller here and stuff was sticking out. So one thing if you noticed in that video, I'll show it right now, is this was not flush all the way against, um, against down, push down. And once you push that down in, you could see to keep this line consistent, this is a little bit less, this is a little bit thicker. So that's really not a big deal. But I was kind of way off on that when I was clamping all this stuff together. Now, I will say, I thought the dash was going to be difficult, but this waterfall, you could see how many bends and curves and adjustments and things that, you know, this mold is pretty crazy. And they kind of pin it back in the corner here. I'm not sure why, but that's kind of an issue. It it's the closest thing that hits a frame. So with all these kind of different things going on, this is kind of the, the big bear you have to kind of <laughs> really wrestle to get to fit. Um, it, it's definitely a pain in the ass. I know versions ones, uh, this actually comes out and it might even come up to here or come somewhere around here, but it comes all the way in. This one doesn't. And, and because of the design, it gives you one extra inch of clearance or something in the cab, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, once I tightened all this stuff up, of course, you're bringing this thing back and back, and now your roll bar is going to have a little hard time fitting. So I just kept working at it slowly, and, you know, I wanted to show you that I was going multiple iterations back and forth to get this happening. But let's look down in here. If we look down, you know, hold on, let me get a light. So if we look down in here, you could see that the pipe is right off the edge of where I cut this hole on this vertical plane. So if I want to have more clearance for that pipe before this receptor pipe was actually hitting this. And so that's why I had to shave these down. But now we're seeing that if I want to have, let's say a quarter inch clearance between the roll bar and the side, I would have to actually gouge this out another you know, inch or two to make that clearance. And if you look in general, yes, this slowly comes out maybe another inch down here, but here's where the pipe is. That's a pretty big, big gouge to keep going. Now I can do that, um, but another thing I could do is actually I could actually get the pipe in there first and then bolt it down and tighten it because if I let those bolts out a little bit, the pipe will go in fine. So. I just have to make a choice. And I think what I'll probably do, I'll probably go a little bit lower. Uh, this one's not so bad. That one's definitely bad, but I want to kind of make them even. And, you know, I have my nice round um, block, if you will, for the, for the sandpaper, but I probably need to use something a little bit smaller, even like, a, a, you know, a fat marker or something like that, have a smaller radius and just grind this out a little bit. So this thing was definitely difficult. And then, you know, you could see where I shot some gold on there. I'm going to take a little bit of that gold out. Um, but this is pretty good on its curve. Just need to kind of curve the back end a little bit. So next time the body's off, I'll do that. Um, but you can see I got pretty nice curve all going all the way down. And same thing on this side. Kind of lines up perfectly. If you look, look here, it's... It's not sticking out, you know, it's, it's right off the edge there. So this one was, was a beast and uh, I spent all day pretty much working on it. And then uh, you'll see in the next video, I'm doing the trunk video. Uh, I started working on the trunk and this one's going to be a little bit difficult too. It's probably what, I, what you would consider probably the easiest piece because it's one big square, but it's not really square. And so, you know, you want to make sure it's square to the car, but how do you get this on there and make sure it's always in the same exact spot? You know, you could draw some lines or different things like that to try to get it in the same spot, but um, it's just kind of floating, if you will. And uh, this one, I think I got to take really slow to make sure I don't screw anything up. So you'll see that in the next video. And uh, we'll just keep on going. But so far, so good. Everything's really coming along. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe and notification buttons and have a great day.